I think this is a similar case of First Spoken, where somebody had a great idea for oh, a great concept for a game, had great gameplay ideas, had great graphic ideas, but just forgot that games have to have a story. You can't just make a game about action and then just crap out on everything else. I sense. Where am I? Why am I naked? Where's my peen? I'm just missing my peen. What is going on? This is the intro get. This is the intro we get. What? Why am I so cooked like this no, no. You cannot escape. no I will not go back you can you help me who are you what the hell is going on I actually like that. I'm alright with that. I'm alright with this preset. Outfit colors. It only changes the scarf. Why would it say outfit colors? That was the intro for the game. Oh, thank the sun. Come, up with you. We have to move. Tracker? What happened? The caravan's been attacked by race. What? Wait a goddamn minute. How do we get here? Somebody explain something to me. For survivors, but I only found you. Thank you for coming back for me. I was in this dream. That was the dream you had? All right, buddy. It wasn't even you. All right, you know. I looked at some reviews before I before I got this game and uh I know I am not here for the story. <laughs> we are not here for the story, we're here for the gameplay. Let's get to it. Wow, they don't even have names. We need to keep moving. The sands Tracker. We have Tracker. We have Warden. We have Caravan guard. We got Smith over here because he's the blacksmith. We got Herder over here, herding. We got Cook. Lord knows what Cook does. I can only hear how fast I'm trying to get through these cutscenes. It's so substanceless. It's not even funny. Why are there dialogue options? Choose your next. I, I... Oh wow! So we just so happened to stumble across a a talking gauntlet. Uh, did, did Forspoken actually inspire another video game? Oh my goodness! Shout out Forspoken. I don't see the thief with you. What do you want? Yeah, everybody's getting fucked you up now. Come on. come on. Come on, come on, come on. Let's get the, let's get Don't to the work. What? That thief. Beat his ass. Mm. Mm. I don't have to do shit you say no more. What do you mean? That thief. I... <sighs> Must be the thief more I've talked about. His name is Thief? Come on, bro. Please. <laughs> Yo, please. <laughs> Can I get an ounce of creativity here? Just a little bit. Just a sprinkle. Can I at least name myself? We got people over here. We have to do something. How much you feel like one person no named over here. All right. We have a traveling vendor. You know what? This is the only acceptable one. Cause it's a vendor. He don't need to be named. 
right? But then look at this over here. Grave Digger. Fire. Not gonna lie. The fit kind of hard, though. <laughs> he got that shit on, though. I could customize it, too. Cave Road. That's where we're at right now. Cave Road. Nyal? Oh my god, that was the first unique name. Okay, we got Morath and we got Nyal. I'm not exactly sure who Morath is. I think Nyal is the gauntlet. The cave, the cave is up the hill and I'm on Cave Road right now, by the way. <laughs> You know, part of me is thoroughly surprised that they didn't name the gauntlet Gauntlet. Cave. Cave. What is this? Oh, what? Yep, in the cave. Yep. He has me. I can hear you. I wonder if all the caves are Where named are Cave. You? Wouldn't that be something? <laughs> Wouldn't that be exciting if all the caves were named Cave? As much from one of your kind. Wow, so only the captain gets a name? You are unnamed for a reason, and no one will ever notice one more dead unnamed. Wait. Return to me. Uh, anyways. Watch. I can Hello? Press LB to activate sand skin and parry incoming attacks. Oh, it has a parry. Haha, <laughs> I kind of like this game now. I like the game now. It's over. This is the best game. Yeah, we're just we're just going to rock out like this. Really? <laughs> Fucking steamrolled that motherfucker. Later. So right now, all of the unique names we have found, right? We've got... Oh, new weapon. This menu allows you to assign weapon types as main or secondary. Assign the sand whip as a secondary weapon by pressing Y. This is like... I pay. I don't think I should have paid fifty dollars for this. You hear that sound? Am I being picky? I don't mean to be super picky, but like, this sounds like the menu select for a PS One game. Like, come on, man. Oh yeah, it's over. How how will I ever be touched? I just oh never mind. There it is. The second that this game showed me that I could parry, it got like ten times better. I'm an easy man to please. What can I say? He kind of sounds like the gauntlet from Forspoken 2. Not gonna lie, if this is what the movement is, Let's find these nuts this is pretty cool.
Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait a goddamn minute. I just got an achievement called exactly sand sliding path. Complete sand sliding path. So the pathway that I was sliding on over sand was called the sand sliding path. Thick skin. This game is so unoriginal, it's not even funny. <laughs> it's not even funny. It's just, it's not even funny. It's so, it's so generic with this name. It's almost insulting that they thought this shit was slide. It is 2023. You could have went on Twitter, asked for names for things, and people would have gave you some 10 out of 10 names. Hurling hammer. Goddamn. I wonder what this move does. Hurl a hammer. All right. That's all I need to know. <laughs> I wonder if the open desert is just going to be called desert. There's another metal object ahead. An animal. Yes. Maybe I can remember more. Oh, wow. A gauntlet that forgot where he came from? Huh. Huh. <laughs> Wow, this is looking strikingly familiar. Who worked on this game again? What? <sighs> Stop, stay back, I... Wait, wait, you, the voice in my head? Yes, this device allows me to project myself. Wait, 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 wait a second, Avatar man. Hold on. What? How? We allegedly had a dream about the gauntlet dude before she found the gauntlet that was just sitting out in the open, so anybody could have grabbed it, right? Am I being am I being picky right now? Am I am I being too harsh or does this just not make sense? Somebody let me know. But for you, barely an obstacle at all. We got low service? What the fuck is going on? He's trying to take the gauntlet off. I mean, thank Philos. You're still alive. He was trying to take my gauntlet. And him is crazy. And him is crazy. What? I do. Oh my god, wait. This dude has a name. Maybe he has something insightful to say. There's a gate beneath a bunch of sand, but you can expand it. What did he give me? A map? He tried to steal from me and then just provided me with a map. He must have been scared. Let's meet at the village later. I'll see you around. Guys, developers. Not every game needs dialogue options. Especially when I know for a fact <laughs> That this game doesn't have, it doesn't matter which one I choose, the outcome is going to be the same. So there's no reason to give me more options for speech. There's no reason. All you're doing is slowing down the game. Just get me from point A to point B, please. I think this is a similar case of First Spoken, where somebody had a great idea for... Oh, a great concept for a game. 
had great gameplay ideas, had great graphic ideas, but just forgot that games have to have a story. You can't just make a game about action and then just crap out on everything else. There, the piece I sent. We can channel it into shattering blows. I'm telling you right now, double A games. If, you, if you're working with a low budget, you can go right to backstage, and there are like a hundred thousands of people that will voice act your game for free, and they will do a better job than this. I promise you. An enhanced dash piece. What the fuck? Please. Your name is not Scouting Villager. Or do you actually have a name? It's a long Castrum 7 is... If I'm judging this too harshly, just just let me know. It wasn't here before. I have recollections of this place. Shell basher. Ooh, new enemy type. Say that. Hey. Yo, chill. Oh my goodness. Oh, okay. Wow, some depth. Some enemies can only be fully frozen after countering multiple times. Why can't I hit it? How do I get out of the tutorial and then I immediately run into something that they didn't teach me in a tutorial? They didn't teach me anything about this blue attack. Now, I'm assuming that it's just an attack that I have to dodge. But why do I have to assume? Why wasn't it told to me? I don't know if I can fight this right now. I think I'm just a little too weak. A diver? Uh-oh. Oh, now they want to throw out all the goddamn variety at me. I wonder what the diver... Oh, look, another diver. The larger foes you encounter have multiple body parts you have to target and destroy. The overview and health of the foes' body parts can be seen at the top left of your screen. Why did I not get this pop up when I was fighting the fucking skull basher? That is a race core. And a wreath with no core is a dead one. This one is warded by Oh my god. What am I looking at? 
Oh my goodness, variety! Oh my goodness. A variety of attacks. Bro, the tutorial for this game does not do this game justice in terms of the gameplay. The tutorial does not do this game's combat justice at all. I've never been close Don't get me wrong, the creativity is still very much so lacking. Oh my god, it feels like I'm just fucking just fighting every sh fucking powerful creature in the fucking area. Oh my god, champ! Bruh. Okay. Fuck! Another anvil is close. Do you feel it? I gotta be nitpicking. I gotta be nitpicking at this point. You hey, listen to this. L listen to this. Right? You, you hear the jump sound? Jump sound, super generic. It's a jump sound. Don't need to be splashy, whatever. But what I don't understand, right? Is like. What? It's such a little thing, but it's like, why y'all couldn't even take the time to make it so the jump and the climb animation have different sound effects? Careful, we can't jump this gap yet. Are you sure? I'm like, I'm kind of sure that I can. Wait, wait, wait. I know I I know I know what I can do. He says I can't make this. I It's a wall. I would have made it. I would have made it. Don't lie to me. Oh wow. So now that it's grass, we we just can't do it anymore. We have to run like normal. I understand it's sand gliding, but that's like so limiting. The only place where where you'll have that movement looks like someone got lost here. It's in the one biome. The his name is Lightbo. If I walk out here right now and he has a bow, I'm getting off this game. Greetings. Shh. Wait for it. They can lead you to treasures. Lipo! Prime Hunters at Castrum Se- Um... Wait. That watchtower seemed- huh. Where's the bow? Don't play with me. 
Your bow's, your bow's, your bow, yo, where's your bow at, son? I know it's sitting around here somewhere. It's not on your body. Huh, maybe light bow don't got a bow. All right, I guess I'm still playing the game. I think this is the one that got Walker. I had a back, I had a thought in the back of my head, just like, I understand that, you know, it's sand gliding, right? But if we have to, if we have to be on sand to glide, how unique can they really get with the biomes? Wouldn't it all just be desert or desert adjacent? To impress me. You seem to actually have some talent. Bro, it literally sounds like an AI is speaking. It's start it's getting on my nerves. That is so stupid too. So like let's say for example Well lush grass field. Oh, random small ass dust patch? Yep, we can glide on that, but literally nothing else. Oh my god. Look. Dirt <laughs> Sand up grass. Sorry. Get. Oh, sand up grass. Okay. Like, what is the point? <laughs> you might as well have made us glide. Glide across anything, so we can keep the mo. We can keep the movement, and you can be more diverse with the biomes. Without breaking water. Oh my god. So there's there's a fucking... There's a waypoint for the side missions. But not for the fucking main mission? What the fuck? She just got snatched. Look, she's on that cliff. But there's a group of race down below. No time to waste them. Wait, so I don't even have to fight the thing that carried her over here? That makes zero sense. I I make my way that makes zero sense. The thing that brought her there didn't even defend what it stole. Just fucking wasted all of that effort to grab it grab the food put it down and then just forget about it and then i fought a bunch of things that were completely unrelated and i saved her like okay buddy that's another 200 meters okay wait i just realized i know this was like 30 minutes ago maybe longer than 30 minutes ago but I said that desert finna be called desert. It's called vast desert. <laughs> Yo, we're in the vast we desert. Build. We can rest and grow stronger there. Wait, so they gave me an. Uh... Wait, 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 wait. They gave me a story mission that I can't complete till I complete the other story mission? This. This is so stupid. This is just so stupid. Let me go to Anvil.
I mean, uh, what is what is there to even say? I've made a lot of comparisons to Forspoken just because it is like it's 2023. Games like this shouldn't happen. <laughs> they shouldn't happen. And I'm not saying that because the combat in this game has a lot of potential. But that's really it though. Like, we need a we need to put more pressure on developers to understand that games need to be completed. You can't just have a half-ass idea and produce a game with with good combat, the gameplay is good, the graphics are good you know it's run good so far for me i don't know about anybody else but it's run really good for me so those check off but like when we're talking about literally everything else characters um voice acting uh the story it's all just fucking it's all bad like it's all it is it's bad i very rarely say things are bad i'm always objective i like to be objective or see things for what they're supposed to be even though i personally may not like something i can appreciate uh the direction that they were going but this game it's like there's nothing you can you can see the laziness and the naming of things they didn't even bother to come up with decent names for anything i think there's only three named characters that aren't just traveler tracker guess what the tracker does she tracks stuff guess what cook does can you imagine what cook does he cooks boom just oh wow this looks like a vast desert i wonder what it's called you've now entered vast desert that is so lazy that is so incredibly lazy it's like they didn't even care they were just like hey you like you like you like you like combos you like big hammers you like parry systems mm, i know you like parry systems yeah. play our game for all of that stuff and it's just like damn i mean is there is there anything else and they're looking straight in the face like we got a character named cook that can cook bro this is yo it's like i feel like this is like a looney tunes episode or some shit they're like honestly and one thing i can say for sure is that the start of the game doesn't do the fucking combat justice the start of the game for like the first hour hour and a half you're sitting there you're you're fighting against the exact same enemy and different sizes they, and they all do the exact same thing at different sizes that's all they do but the second that you get into the the i guess i'm in the, like the semi open world right now the second that you get into the semi open world you see this a decent variety like a decent variety like you have um you had the the skull basher again names are just terrible the, the names are terrible um no it's not it's not called the skull basher it's called the shell basher can you imagine what one of the attacks from the shell basher is yes he bashes shells he bashes his shells i i, I this is not me making a joke this is literally what the game does this is literally what those what those creatures do then we have the diver can you imagine what the diver does ah i'll i'll let you guys take a guess i'll let you guys take a guess to what the diver does uh, well then we can even talking about like the environments everything seems to be centered around the fact that you can control sand which is one thing but it's like what does that do for the environments that you can offer in this game like they're even in the even in the little section that i'm in right now there's like a there's one small part where it's just a grass plane and you can you can't you can't use your movement you gotta run around like normal there's no way for you to for them to put objectives there unless 
you're looking at a full grass plain and then there's just a random ass pile of sand in a grass field for some reason for you to actually do like objectives and things because everything is centered around sand that's like so limiting it's like a lot of this was just like oversight like they didn't even think they didn't even take it into consideration maybe the things change maybe it gets better i don't know i'm like two hours into the game two and a half hours into the game maybe it gets better like when a game is is lazy in certain aspects it makes it so easy to look at everything else that's wrong like i don't think in a single other video game i've ever played i've taken a second to look at the jump sound and then when i climbed up something the jump sound and the climb sound are exactly the same so it's like wow you motherfuckers are n aren't just lazy y'all are lazy lazy like really fucking lazy <laughs> y'all poured all the effort into the combat and spent no time on anything else uh i'm gonna keep playing it just because honestly there's not really much else to play right now a story just skip skip every fucking dialogue option it's it's i hate games that do this that give you dialogue options for no reason but they are here unnecessary dialogue options just just you gotta alternate between tapping the square button or the x button on xbox to skip and the x or a button depending on what console you're playing on story just ignore the dialogue just get just get straight to the combat straight to the combat oh by the way before you pick this game up red moves can be blocked blue moves have to be dodged because they don't explain that they they don't they explain the red part the red that you know red has to be countered or red can be countered but they don't explain that blue cannot be countered the second that i got into the open world i, f I ran into the skull basher and he was just throwing out blue moves and i'm just like they didn't even tell us about blue moves or maybe they did and i just skipped over it that is a high possibility but i'm like 95 percent sure i didn't do a single instance of in a combat instance where they had me practice dodging a blue move i promise you that didn't happen 100 percent sure that didn't happen so before you pick this game up just know that that's the only other thing that you really need to know about the combat um everything does get explained to you eventually but i didn't learn that blue i didn't get that blue move tip until like 30 minutes of me dying to the skull basher I just didn't get that tip even not the first time i fought this the the the, the i'm just gonna call it the basher the first time i felt the basher the second time i felt the basher the third time fourth time fifth time they didn't tell me shit about this blue thing until it randomly popped up one time when i was fighting it randomly again another show to how lazy the developers are with this shit but on that note that's that if you want to spend fifty dollars to uh play uh for some decent combat nah let me not say decent if you want to spend fifty dollars for some good combat <laughs> shit by all means if, if you like the gameplay that you've seen and you think it'd be fun it is fun but that's all you're getting that's all you're getting you're getting good you're getting fun combat that's it the traversal was cool for like the first hour but then it gets boring because it's slow and everything's like 500 meters away and when you're just for 30 minutes it's just it gets boring it gets boring so the traversal isn't that fun the story is absolute dog shit uh all the little things are fucking annoying the ai voices if they tell me that this show's voice acted it sounded like ai voices it, it sounded like ai voices and it's like so many fucking it's a lot of bad it's a lot of bad but if you like good good gameplay if you like good combat this is the game for you for 50 dollars it's crazy do not buy this game for 50 dollars wait for it to buy there's going to be a price drop there's going to be a price drop in like two weeks i promise you